A classic science assignment is to have students flip through the newspaper to find a science article and write a response. The goal is to help students see that science is a living, breathing process where what we know is always changing. The trick is, how do you get teenagers excited about the frontiers of knowledge and technology while they're using something like a newspaper that they consider a relic? One answer is RSS. RSS is really simple syndication. The biggest advantage is that you can aggregate stories from a variety of sources, including blogs and news outlets, all in one place. Rather than visiting half a dozen different websites, you can visit a single site to get the latest articles from every source you follow. As an added bonus, you can do this while staying anonymous, since an RSS reader does not need your email address or any other personal information. There are many, many RSS readers out there, so explore and find one that you like. Google Reader used to be my reader of choice, but ever since it was discontinued this summer, I've been using Feedly. To modernize a science news assignment, students should set up an RSS feed with several different sources. I'll be using Feedly to demonstrate. There are several ways students could add to their feed. For example, I could provide suggested sites by giving students either the feed's title or URL, either of which can be typed into Feedly's search bar. The quickest and simplest option, however, is to use Feedly's keyword search, where you place a hashtag in front of your search term. If a student types in hashtag science, they will get a list of feeds with that tag, including several featured by Feedly. They can add as many of those feeds as they'd like by clicking the plus signs. I'm putting all of the feeds I select into a category called Science. Once a student has populated their RSS reader, they should stop by at least once a week and click on the Science category. This will give them headlines, pictures, and summaries of each article. Even with just a few science news sources in their feed, students will see a huge variety of topics including biology, meteorology, as astronomy, psychology, just to name a few. Even if all a student does is skim over their feed, they are getting a taste of how much changes every single day in science. Each and every student should be able to find at least one article in the feed that interests them enough to read a task that students always need to do more of. Once a student has selected an, and read an article, they should write a response to it. Depending on the level of the students, a response could be a simple summary, or it could demand higher level thinking from the students by asking them to connect the article to something in the course content or their own experience. In the traditional version of a science news assignment, students would cut the article out of their newspaper staple it to the written response, and turn it all in to the teacher. A teacher might have posted these on a bulletin board, but nearly all students only read their own article. A digital version of this assignment makes it easy to get much wider engagement from the class. Tools like the discussion forums in course management software like Blackboard are a great place for students to post a link to their article along with their response. What was previously just a paper handed to the teacher can now become a starting point for a discussion that potentially includes the entire class. In conclusion, adapting the classic science news assignment to utilize RSS and other digital tools has a number of advantages. The assignment has always been a tool to promote science literacy and to have students practice core skills such as reading and writing. By shifting this assignment into the digital world, you're able to give students access to a greater variety of articles and sources than most students would be able to reach with simply newspapers and magazines, which in turn leads to increased engagement as you're raising the chances that students find something that will interest them and make it very easy for students to browse through the wide variety of articles. By incorporating discussion tools, you are also able to add an element of collaborative learning 
as students read each other's posts and participate in discussions about the articles that their peers have found. With that, a classic assignment has been updated to use modern tools and to make it easier and more engaging for students to find and share science articles that interest them. All thanks to RSS.